What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction to the incredible show that is After Life Series 3, Episode 2. Before we dive in, if you guys happen to enjoy, don't forget to smash subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. Let's get right to it. There you go. Cheers. All right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, good, yeah. Yeah. How's the dog? How's the dog? Yeah, yeah. Chilling on the couch, sure bit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's good. Yeah. Great, great. How's the dog? How's the dog? Chilling on the couch, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. What's going How on, Pat? Uh, How's your girlfriend? Uh, girlfriend? Good, good, yeah. Yeah, being done from behind as we speak by Andy Norris, the bookmaker. Huh? Right. So, yeah. <laughs> That's so tough. There's no way I could. I, I, I could have that. Sorry, I gotta give me a break. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way I would survive a relationship like that. Sorry about last night. Yeah. Obviously nothing to do with you. I just, I can't stand people interfering. Sure. It was also forced and in public. And... Do you fancy a drink tonight then? Just, just us? No. Really? Joking. Of course I fancy a drink. Where do you want to go? Nowhere. I drink on the couch. Okay. Well, maybe I can come and sit on a couch nearby. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can come and sit on the couch nearby. I feel so bad. This your relationship just ain't fair. And yeah, although I feel for Tony, um, and Tony, I want Tony to be happy. This isn't fair. This is this is completely not fair. But the nurse did go in, eyes open, knowing that Tony wasn't ready for a relationship. He said it multiple times. Um, so. She said she'd be happy with Groundhog Day. She, if you're going eyes wide open, I can't. It's hard for me to, to, to feel terrible, but it, it just isn't fair. I do feel It's hard for me to feel bad, but I do feel bad. It's not fair. Got any gin? Got everything. Hmm. Tonic? I mean, everything alcoholic. I'll get some tonic. Yeah. Lemon? No. Bring a lemon. Hey, bring a lemon, man. You know what? Bring my son. <laughs> yeah. It's like nothing's changed. <laughs> it's like nothing's changed. Right. See you later. Hello, dear. 9.15. No room for me. Oh, we were just leaving. Oh. Okay. Off anyway, nice. Just going for a cup of tea. Great. Okay. See you later. You okay? Definitely. 
Well, I'm not replacing Stan, by the way. What do you mean? Anne and me. We still miss our other halves with all our heart. Only now we... we miss them together. So well, you wanted two lonely people to be happy, right? Yeah. And, uh... I don't think that at any point you ever asked yourself, I, I hope their late partners don't mind. No, of course not. So why do you impose such a restriction on yourself? Mm. Come on now. Thank you. <laughs> he really needed to hear that. He absolutely needed to hear that. Alone again. That's fine. You know me, I'm not one to complain. <laughs> oh, I still miss you so much. I don't think I ever get over it. I'm not strong enough. Not without you. I'm still going through the stages of grief. Denial's the tricky one. I was never in denial that you were gone. I was in denial that I was suffering from mental illness. Even when I was suicidal, I never thought there was anything wrong with me. I thought that was the sensible thing to do. And it annoyed me that other people thought I wasn't thinking straight. It was only recently I, I realised I was ill. I guess that was the glimmer of hope to getting better. But... <sighs> Feels good. Talking to you. Sorry how it ended last night, but I wasn't in the mood and I didn't know why you were criticizing Lisa. No one was criticizing Lisa. We just didn't want Emma to feel worthless compared to her, so. Why, though? She's not my new wife. No, I know, but she's a person. She's a nice person. And we yeah. told her that after you left. Good. Well, while you were doing that, I was throwing the cactus through a car window that didn't stop at a zebra crossing. Brilliant. Well, you can cover that when I get the call about Electron. That's what you get. Hey. What do you mean? Well, I didn't want to do the stupid soiree in the first place. I was doing it for you. Yeah. Because you were trying to make your life more interesting. Well, but we, fault, yeah. we've both learned a lesson, haven't we? Which is? Never help anyone, ever. Great. Great lesson. Yeah. Seriously, Tony, you need to do something about your anger. It's going to kill you one of these days. Or someone else. Why don't you channel it into sport or something? You used to do loads. And now you let yourself go. You know, staying up <laughs> drinking wine every night, God knows what else. <laughs> you used to do loads. Now you let yourself go. Uh, no, he's, uh... Tony, I mean, F. I hate to say you got to keep living. Like, you're alive. You chose to live. You did. You had, you had thoughts of suicide. You never followed through with it. You chose to live. So commit to that decision. And actually live. Don't just, don't just be alive. Right? Live. You still got a whole life ahead of you. And I, I like, again... I, I've never been in those shoes. I don't know how it feels. I, but my thing is, don't like, don't don't make that decision to live just to to be in, to wallow every single day and to to not truly give life a chance. Make that decision and commit to it. Do you good? I have let myself go. Yeah. Yeah. And I tell you this, I could drink half a bottle of whiskey and still beat you at anything physical. Oh, don't be silly. Of course I could. Don't be silly. What then? What? Oh, table tennis. D fine. Yeah? Yeah. Not a lot of running in that for you, is no, it? No, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah? yeah. Money oh, on it? Okay. Money on it? Okay. Is it Why not? 100 quid. Oh, no, that's too bad. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, fine. 100 right. quid. Yeah, let's do it. I'll um, phone the, the, the Rackets Club. They've got a few uh, table. Oh, sorry, yeah. Um, uh, this is Colleen. Uh, the new intern, she's Sandy's replacement, Tony. You all right? No. So, Tandy, I could never remember her freaking name. No, nobody, we, nobody told us what happened to Sandy. I hope we get an explanation and not just her not being on the show. 
I know she probably had other things. She probably her life got busy or something came up. But can you give us an explanation on the show? Just say like, hey, she moved on to better things or something. No, not really. I'm absolutely gutted. I'm starting at the bottom again. I work my way up to management in my old job. Where was your old job? At the mini mart. But it went bust during the pandemic, so I had to take anything. You know, the money's shit, and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> We're all in the same boat then. Oh, really? Do you live with your alcoholic mum because your dad's in prison for beating up her brother who groped you? Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, so, um. That's a completely that's different road. Oh, right. Do you want to come and watch this interview a couple of swingers? What's that? What swingers? All of it. I don't understand anything you just said. Uh huh. Um. Well, well, I'm a journalist for the newspaper, yeah? So, I talk to people who have got an interesting story. OK, why? Why? Yeah. Why do I talk to them or why do I do any of it? Yeah. Oh, my days. Just, just, uh, just come with us. I'm Jeff, and this is my partner, Vera. Hi. Um, thanks for inviting us over. Uh, so, what is the Swingers Club all about? Fun. Yeah. Via sex. Yeah. I work at the crematorium. Via sex. Which can be quite boring and stuff, you know. So, okay. um, I like to let my hair down. Mm, it gets so frustrating. I mean, <laughs> so... <laughs> Pentel. He has to let it out. <laughs> so we, uh, we started this um, all above board, mm -hmm. legal age. Oh, way over legal age. Yeah, and all consensual. We ask permission for everything, no funny business, and everything is 100% safe. Condoms are compulsory. No filming or photos. We call it the Vegas Club. What happens in Vegas, Vegas stays in Vegas. I like yeah. it. I mean, it's... but you're happy for it to be in the paper. Yeah, fine with us, but I won't give you photos of other members. Don't want them to be recognised in the street if they don't want to be. It's a lovely mm -hmm. private club for people who like a bit of fun. Nothing weird about it. Can't stress that enough. What it is? There you go. Well, I think it's a club that makes them happy, and I have no judgments of it. Right? Um, it seems like everything is consensual. It's private, everybody's happy, the ground rules are there. Um, so yeah, as long as people are happy, hey, go for it. Is it a celebration, yeah, of body sharing? But if someone doesn't want full on intercourse, that is fine. It's like old Mrs. Poulton, yeah? She just likes Jeff to stroke you. <laughs> She just somebody else, though. Up to her. Whereas her husband, Norman, he wants everything off him, doesn't he? Huh. Like oh, what? see? No. Huh? No. Dildos. Uh. Right. <laughs> Wait, what? No, no. Well, I thought that is supposed to be private. We've been giving out other people's names now. We, What's going on? No. He brings his own. They're not used on anyone else. Hygiene is paramount. You can write that. Yeah. So, how do people join? Well, they just have to come along. They don't even have to join in. They can just watch the first time to get the idea. Would you like to join? No. <coughs> Thank you. No. Would you no like mind. to join? No. no. Sure. Yeah. Well, you'd be very welcome. We have all sorts, mm. if that's what you're worried about. Even got a little Chinese fella. <laughs> Look, it goes like the clappers he does, yeah. doesn't it? No. Oh. He's so fast. Good actor. Anyway, as Jeff said, you know you can just watch if you want to. No. Yeah, like Mary Biddle. Oh, God rest her soul. Yeah. She was wheelchair bound, mm. but but we used to pop her in the corner and she'd watch. Yeah, she could. Oh, do my days. Jeff. She could help herself. Yeah, yeah. She had the one good hand. No. She had well, the one good hand. Yeah. A smile. Great. Oh, yeah. What will 
the swingers like? Horrible. I kept wanting to say, sorry, why are you telling us all this? Keep it to yourself. At least they've had a life. I've got absolutely nothing. Yeah. I haven't even got a boyfriend and I'm fucking easy. <laughs> I haven't even got a boyfriend and I'm effing easy. There's no rush. I didn't meet my wife till I was in my thirties. Your wife died, didn't she? Yeah. Mm, really sorry. Cheers. Yeah, I wasn't looking, and there she was. I was living in a shitty little bedsit above a laundrette. I could hear the machines going around all day. And uh, if it wasn't for Lisa, I think I'd still be there. Uh, but I've never had money. She earned loads more than me. And her dad lent us the money for a deposit on the house. We paid off the mortgage just before she got ill. If I didn't own the house, I'd be living under a bridge now, I think. It might still be better than my situation. I'd be happy with a bed sit at the moment. I'm looking for a flat, but money's a bit tight. You should move in with Tony. He's got that great big house all to himself. Yeah, cheers, Kath. <laughs> you should move in with Tony. How you just gonna offer somebody room in my house, Kath? Look, what's wrong with you? Wouldn't want to. Wouldn't want to. Why not? <laughs> it's not that I need somewhere to live, it's that I need somewhere to live on my own. Like, I need to be independent. I just, I just feel like a loser. I've got viewing later, would you come with me? Why? I, just, I feel like they talk down to me. So you need someone fat and grizzled and middle-aged? Yeah. <laughs> I'm mad. I always thought man. I'd make a good estate agent. Definitely. You know why? Cold and uncaring. Trustworthy. <laughs> People can tell I know what I'm talking about. No, they can't. Oh, yeah, I called, what's her name? The uh, novelist, medium woman. She says she's up for doing a consultation with yeah. you. <clears throat> Does she do palms, crystal ball, or what? She says she's going to read your aura and tell you what to do. I hope two people with a gift don't cancel each other out. What gift? <laughs> I'm a bit psychic. Oh, are you? <laughs> Yeah. How do you know? Also. <laughs> I'm a busy. What gift? I'm a bit psychic. No, why? No. Hey. Hey. You don't believe in all that nonsense, do you? What? The supernatural. Mediums, fortune tellers. Um, I don't know. There's got to be something to it. Because, like, if it was a con, it'd be illegal. And they make loads of money. Yeah, but if it actually worked, they'd just do the lottery every week and they'd be billionaires, wouldn't they? Huh. Yeah, that's a good point. I think it's for people who are looking for something. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hello. So I'm late. Well, the woman was found dead. <laughs> so we, we got the dining space, living room area, some kitchen. Bedroom, very convenient to each other. Yeah, every day. My, house, my, my kitchen's bloody miles away from my bedroom. That sounds a lot better. Is this all I can afford? Well, this is the size you're looking at for the rent you want to pay, and this is quite a cheap area too, so it's a bit bigger than you get anywhere else. What's the area like? Yeah. Uh, look, I, I wouldn't usually mention this, but um. It's full of greasy spoons and uh, that's food takeaways, so, you know. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, okay, let's go before. Uh, yeah, bye. Bye. No, oh, bye. I'll, I'll see you out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's full of greasy spoons and fast food takeaways. Uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Yeah, put this tied up. It's all about Simon Cowell's newest face. Cheers. Who's this? Uh, oh, uh, Colleen. This is Ken. Why so glum? Where to start? I'm 30. I live with my alcoholic mum. And I earn crap money. It's the only way I can be independent. It's to live in a tiny hovel above a shop. 
Oh, Crimea River. Thought she'd never stop. Look. <laughs> oh, Crimea River. I thought she'd never stop. If you're homeless, I've got a flat above my office. Oh, what? It's empty? Yeah. I use it to audition the young lads, wink wink. Or rather, wank wank, if you get what I mean. I think I know what you're suggesting. Yeah. I just, just said it. I just stopped all that when coronavirus came along. Scary. I preferred AIDS. You know where I we were with that. AIDS. You actually had to do you know what with someone. Uh, coronavirus? Some fucker just walks past you and coughs uh, and you're screwed. Uh, well, I am. I'm high risk. Uh, Asthma. My job's high risk with AIDS. That's because I like stuff the arse. <laughs> My choice. <laughs> Mind you, I was high risk with AIDS. That's because I like it up the. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, flat's yours if you want it. I'd change the sheets if I were you. See ya! Cheers, Ken. Hello? Hiya. Tonic? And a lemon. Cheers. Not your wife, Tony. She's not your wife. Don't, don't try to make her that. You getting the ice? Yeah. <sighs> Only me. Oh, bloody hell, Ken! Do you not knock? Oh, don't worry about that. You got nothing I want to see. Trust me. No, I'm going to be popping in now all see. the time. Don't you worry. We'll be besties. <laughs> Ever so bored in the office. There's nothing coming in from him, nothing at all. Oh, the stories I could tell you about this place. Absolutely dripping with memories. Literally dripping. Throw that towel away. Anyway, I'll let you get on, Tra. Oh my god. Absolutely dripping with memories. Right, Brian. Hello, Mr. Gumble. Here to see James. Yeah, where is the little bugger? He's in the bath, but come in. Hi. His testicles. Uh -huh. Makes you sterile. Uh -huh. Do you want? Yeah, they do look red, mate. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh -huh. A bit cold on them, James. <laughs> she said, yeah, they do look red, mate. Get them out of there. Stop talking about my bloody testicles. They're fine. Have some cake, Brian. Oh yes, please. Thank you. James? I'm having a fucking bath. Is that yes or a no? <laughs> what kind of cake? <laughs> Chocolate gatto with uh, crumbled flakes on top. Mm. Yes then, please. Yes then, please. I've got to get my own place. Yeah. Why? Why? Living the dream, mate. Wish I had a woman bring me cake in the bath. Not your mum, though. I'm not needed here anymore. Mum's got Lenny. I'm just a big fat lump taking up space. And your mum shouldn't be telling you off of ruining your testicles while you're in the bath. You can move in with me if you want. Really? You have a spare room? Yeah, if you can get in there, you're welcome. What do you mean, if I can get in it? It's full of shit. You know what? 
Let's do it. Time for me to become a man. <laughs> he said, yes, you can get in there. It's time for him to become a man. Okay. Um, you're going to have to clean that room out. Who are you on the right to my mom? She going to be happy, I think. Interesting. What? Strong, confident, determined. On the outside. But on the inside, you're vulnerable and sensitive. You're lonely. It's tough, isn't it, being a strong woman in a man's world? You feel you've lost a little of yourself and you see needing comfort as a weakness they'll pounce on. So you deny you need it. You do need it, dear. Everyone does. Dang. She was right on the money, dog. Right on the money. Ages, darling. What? <laughs> I got something to tell you. I've known for ages, darling. <laughs> no, this ain't it. This ain't that. Oh, sorry, what were you gonna say? Okay. Um. So I think it's time for me to fly the nest. Brian's got a spare room. I'm gonna move in with him. Okay. Well, I'll let you move in tomorrow then. Tomorrow. I will go and get dressed then. There you go. Oh. I'll put a snooker table in his room. It won't fit, will it? Just a little one. It won't fit, will it? Just a little one. You got the lock on? Yeah, I'm in bed. It's Ken. Yeah, I guess that. I've had an idea for a new showbiz gossip piece called Careless Whispers. Okay, tell me tomorrow. Yeah, it's basically a list of all the people <coughs> the who claim they've wanked off George Michael. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Good idea though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, night then. Yeah, night Ken. What? Night Ken. Yeah, all right. See you tomorrow then. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Don't bother getting up.
And I knew about cash loneliness and I just I just want everybody to be happy, but everybody's going through so much through so much. Um, it's hard. It's hard to find happiness. I don't believe it's possible. That's all we got. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. Check out the next one. I'll see y'all there.